Sometimes it pays to be spineless. Take the caterpillar. It can squirm and crawl in ways that would make a contortionist green with envy. This little guy, as you can see, can grip and hold and move. And we're trying to make devices that are going to be able to do this. That's right. He's talking about a robotic tobacco hornworm caterpillar. Already, biologist Barry Trimmer and his team at Tufts University have molded plastic models to simulate the caterpillar's movements. With support from the National Science Foundation, these little guys could very well be the nucleus of a whole new field of robotics. What we call soft material robotics. Uh, this doesn't really exist as a discipline currently, but we're, we're rapidly moving towards that. Imagine small, squishy robots that could be dropped into tall trees to survey the canopy of the forest, or be flown into space to monitor equipment on board the space station. So it can burrow, it can climb, uh, it can navigate through complex terrain. Caterpillars don't have big brains. Trimmer says these robots won't either. Instead, what you have is a body that can perform most of the tasks itself. So what we're trying to do is understand how the nervous system and the body work together to create those complex movements. And if you think about it, that could be really, really interesting because if you don't have a rigid skeleton, if you don't have bones, you can move in ways that stiff animals can't. To make a robot patterned on a caterpillar, Trimmer and his team study every aspect of them, down to the DNA. This is the newly hatched larva. You know, I've been working with these guys for 20 years, and I still can't believe how incredible it is, the transformation from the caterpillar to the moth. It's all in one genome. It's a bit like reprogramming a battleship and using the same blueprint you started with and building a 747 jet. Trimmer hopes in the next five to 10 years, a small, squishy robot will be safe enough to swallow, if you dare, to help diagnose diseases or deliver medications. Amazing how the worm might turn. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.